It is no secret that coding jobs are in high demand. Software development has seen explosive growth in the past eight years. In 2012, there were about 1.4 million employed software developers in the United States. This grew to about 1.8 million in 2020, about 400,000 more employed software developers just in eight years. But here's the crazy part. Those are only employed software developers in the United States. This doesn't include freelancers and other developers that own their own business. The strong labor market for software development provides a huge incentive to become a coder or software developer in 2021. But which language should you choose? The software industry moves really quickly and programming languages actually die off every now and then. In this video, we're providing you the 10 most in-demand programming languages in the United States right now. In 10th place, we have an 18th century pirate's favorite programming language. Number 10 on the list is R. Right now, there are currently 3,193 job openings on Indeed.com for R, and on Glassdoor.com, there were 1,478 job postings. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, R did peak in popularity in 2018, meaning less people are using it today than in 2018, and less developers want to learn R today than in 2018. Either way, R is a great programming language to learn if you're interested in data science, statistics, and data analysis. Although there is a programming language a little bit more in demand than R. In ninth place, we have Ruby. At the filming of this video, there were 4,883 job openings for Ruby developers on Indeed.com. Meanwhile, on Glassdoor.com, there were 5,454 job postings. And according to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Ruby peaked in years past, meaning less people are using it today, than in previous years, and less people want to learn it today than in even 2017. Unfortunately for Ruby, its best days might be behind it. People joke about Ruby all the time, and some developers don't even consider it a real programming language. I would say of all the programming languages on this list, Ruby hands down gets the most hate. But keep in mind, companies such as Shopify and Twitter used Ruby to build some of their applications. Consider learning Ruby if you're interested in prototyping, building web applications, or doing a little data analysis. Just know that some people really love to hate on Ruby. In eighth place, we have Go. And I'm not talking about the ancient Chinese board game, Go. Go is a programming language created by Google. At the filming of this video, there were 5,038 job openings for Go developers on Indeed.com. And meanwhile, on Glassdoor.com, there were 4,040 job postings. According to the Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Go has a lot of momentum. It is more popular today than ever before, and more developers want to learn it today than ever before. Go was created by Google in 2009, and it was created to make servers more scalable and easily, more easily maintainable. This is a great programming language to learn for server-side developers focused on performance and scalability. In seventh place, we have PHP. 40% of all websites on the internet are powered by PHP. WordPress powers 15% of the world's top websites, and WordPress is programmed using PHP. On Indeed.com, there was 8,305 job postings for PHP developers. Meanwhile, on Glassdoor.com, there was 18,284 job postings for PHP developers. Unfortunately, like Ruby and R, popularity for the PHP programming language has declined over the years. It is less popular today than it was in 2018, and less people want to learn it today than in years past. But definitely keep in mind, WordPress is not going away anytime soon, and all those websites have to be maintained. So you basically have to learn PHP if you want to work with some of these top websites that are using WordPress. Number four to six, we have the C programming languages. Glassdoor had a hard time differentiating between C and C++, so I'll just be using Indeed job postings for these programming languages. At the filming of this video, there was 15,089 job postings for C. There were 15,561 job postings for C++, and there were 33,679 job postings for C Sharp. C, C++, and C Sharp are the programming languages for game development. If you want to be a game developer, you basically have to learn one of these languages. This is because languages such as C and C++ give you a lot of control over memory management. This means that you can really create high performance computer applications that utilize computer hardware to its fullest capacity. Popular games like The Witcher 3 were created using C++. And many VR applications on say the Oculus Quest are built using C++ or C Sharp. All of these languages can also be used to create operating systems, enterprise software, web browsers, and more. 
Number three on the list is Python. At the filming of this video on Indeed.com, there were 41,115 job postings for Python developers. Meanwhile, on Glassdoor.com, there were 18,535 job postings. And in the 2020 developer survey by Stack Overflow, Python has never been more popular among developers. More people want to learn Python today, and Python is being used more now than ever before. Developers that are interested in data mining, data science, AI, machine learning should definitely consider learning Python. Historically, the R programming language was actually used for data science. It seems like more companies prefer Python over R because Python is a little bit more scalable and easier to maintain. Many people are very bullish on Python because the number of jobs in data science, AI, and machine learning are expected to grow by leaps and bounds in the coming years. Number two on the list is JavaScript, the programming language of the web. On Indeed.com, at the filming of this video, there were 51,800 job postings for JavaScript developers. Meanwhile, on Glassdoor, there were 19,914 job postings. JavaScript is honestly a little bit stagnant. It still has the highest popularity among developers, but it is a little bit lower than 2018 and about the same number of people want to learn JavaScript as in years past. JavaScript is a great programming language for developers that want to focus on user interfaces. And a great part about JavaScript is that it is somewhat of an unkillable programming language. To replace JavaScript in all of the world's web browsers, which would include Google Chrome, Safari, IE, Opera, and Firefox, would be extremely challenging. There are so many web browsers and they have so many different versions. And so many companies want their web applications to work not only on modern web browsers, but they also want their web applications to work on old web browsers, such as Internet Explorer 11. People tend to think of JavaScript only working on the front end for user interfaces, but there also is Node.js, so JavaScript can also be used on the server side. And the most in-demand programming language at the filming of this video is Java. On Indeed.com, there were 58,299 job postings for Java developers. Meanwhile, on Glassdoor.com, there were 21,664 job postings. Java has declined a little bit in popularity among developers. Popularity peaked in 2018 and has declined since. And also less developers want to learn Java than in years past. But it has the greatest number of job postings among all of these languages, so that's why it's in the number one spot. There are a lot of reasons to learn Java in 2021. It is an extremely versatile programming language, and it can be used for web apps, mobile apps, desktop apps, and it's also heavily used in enterprise applications. So if you want to work for a Fortune 500 company, more often than not, they're using Java in their applications. Those are the 10 most in-demand programming languages in 2021. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.